Hey everybody, this is Travis at The Tank Life, and today we're going to start assembly of our 180 gallon aquarium by CustomAquariums.com. This is a rimless aquarium. It's drilled for, with an overflow and returned for a sump that will go underneath the cabinet here. This is an oak cabinet with a cherry finish. And our sump will just sit right down in there in between these three cabinet doors. And inside here, you can see to the left, there's an opening for the, the drain hoses to come into. And I only have one of these to show you because just for video purposes, but these are the H2O overflow, uh, silent overflows by customaquariums.com. And they have a little grommet with them that you can restrict the flow to quieten them down until you get to the flow rate that you need it to be. And there, like I said, there's going to be two of those. And then we have the return uh, outlets here as well. The, they have some nozzles that will spray. And I'll show you how to set up those in a later video. The very first thing we're going to do is do the plumbing. We have, we have these flex pipes with the ends attached. And they'll hook up back here to our... Uh, our bulkheads like this right here so we just need to go in there and glue this in place on both sides and run the plumbing down through the opening in the cabinet and when we get the sump into the cabinet itself those two overflows will come down here into the filter sock uh, chamber and this has two large filter socks that you can change out. And I'll show you the rest of the sump as we start doing the, the rest of the build here. But basically the way that it works, it'll come into this next chamber. And this is where we're going to put our protein skimmer. And it will connect to this chamber, which will house media and it will spill over into this chamber with our return pump. And the return outlets here are gonna accept this hose and run back up to the bulkheads here. And they'll have, a re uh, like I said, they'll have a return nozzle there. Uh, these are seamless sumps by customaquariums.com, meaning that they're just one piece. There's, they're not bonded in any way like a glass tank would be. They're really durable, they're tough and rugged, and they'll last forever. Uh, they have a glass lid that goes over the top on each one of these to help with evaporation. The next thing we're gonna be doing once we get these uh, hoses in place and get the sump into the cabinet itself is we're gonna have to plumb these connectors here that they hook up the two different parts of the sump these are there's actually three separate pieces here you have this part you have this part and then you have this one and it's done like that so you can easily get it into the cabinet so each one of them connects to the other and we'll show you a little bit more what that looks like once we actually get it in the cabinet hold tight and we'll come right back Okay everybody, so on the last video what we were doing was uh, gluing the pipes together for the plumbing on the sump. Uh, we've got these welded in with <coughs> the correct kind of ABS glue. See they're not going anywhere. Alright, so the next thing that we did was run our, our overflow tubes down here and plug them into the sump where they go to they just kind of pushed into place they have a little rubber grommet on the top that they they slide down to or it's more like a silicone i guess 
anyway so the green line that you see back there is actually the return lines there will be two of them um, and they come down into these little holes here and they'll meet up to the to the pump down there uh, that's a half inch inside diameter tubing and we're going to use a half inch inside adapter for our pumps that we're going to use in this instance I'm using two one second let me get them out for you and I'll show you exactly what they are you can look at the glowfish tank while I get these together these together all right sorry about that I should have had these already out for you anyway these are the pumps that we're using they're rated for 880 gallons per hour um, our tube for the return line is approximately eight to nine foot long so there's a little bit of head pressure on this pump so realistically I'm expecting somewhere around 600 gallons per hour so that should put us at about a 1200 total per hour rate uh, depending on the setup of of your, of your system and what your goals are for your livestock and everything you want to shoot it can be as low as three times turnover but that's really low what you really want to shoot for is anywhere from five to ten times turnover of your system volume we have a 180 gallon aquarium I'm not exactly sure what the water volume is on the sump I believe it holds about 70 gallons I'll have to confirm that when we start actually putting the water into the sump but anyway we're estimating that the the tank actually should hold about 170 gallons um, it's a 180 but they measure that from corner to corner on the glass and you have to understand that the the thickness of the glass affects the total volume of the tank see they, they measure it all the way out to the end here and the manufacturer of this tank even explains this to you that they're, they call it a 180 because that's the industry standard for this size of tank but it's really 170 gallons so we're we're thinking that with the sump and the tank we should be right at 240 total vo uh, volume for the system altogether so um, we were shooting somewhere between five and eight times turnover for this tank Doing a little math in my head here. So on the low end, that should be about five times turnover with these pumps. Um, if they are if they were able to actually put out the 880 that they claim they do, um, that would put us closer to about 7.3 times the turnover. So realistically, we're probably five to six times turnover with these pumps here we're going to see how that goes if we need to upgrade the pumps we will later on but we just decided to go with these um, we were going to use the CJ uh, silent 3.0 pumps but at the time they were unavailable to us and I have used these pumps here these are made by Kedsum it's a it's a Chinese company but we have used these pumps in our other systems before with no issues so we're gonna see how this goes and later on we may upgrade and if I were doing this in my home I may I may choose to use the the CJ just because they're more silent and I would have waited for them to get here but I already had these on hand so we're gonna try these out and see how they work uh, they have this little adjustable knob here that you can uh, crank the volume up or down I think it's already turned all the way up but anyway it just opens and closes a, a little valve inside of there I can get that apart to show you well maybe not with one hand but anyway all it does is it restricts the amount of water that can come into the pump and so you can turn it up or down we're just going to crank it up let it flow so that'll be our next project we're going to stick those into the sump we're also going to stick these bad boys in the sump uh, for our 
heating needs we went with these two Eheim not sure how you pronounce is it Jagger Jagger anyway they're 300 watt Eheims I've used this brand of heater before in our seahorse tank and some of our tanks on the sales floor and they worked really well these are rated up to 264 gallons a piece we're going to use two of them just so that the one is not working so hard and this being an open top tank it puts a little more demand on it because there's not as much insulation as you would get with a closed top and also just as a backup in case one were to fail we wouldn't have major catastrophe so uh, anyway we're going to install these they're rather long they're 19 inches long so we're thinking they will probably have to go in this first chamber because it's quite large and that'll be just fine the water will get heated from there uh, I think I went over this with you before but I'll go over it again what happens is the we have the H2O overflows from customaquariums.com and these have a little baffle that you can put inside to reduce the flow if you need to to quieten it down to fine-tune your flow um, on the inside I've still got the rubber band on this one sorry about that on the inside it's just that hole there and they come with little rubber grommets that you can fit inside of that hole to reduce the size of it to in essence uh, slow down your flow if you need to to get it quieter uh, we're kind of we're going to try it with it wide open to start with and these are our return lines these are uh, siphon brake returns from custom aquariums sorry siphon stopper I apologize they have <coughs> little vents in here these are hollowed out right here and they have vents and so what happens is when the water level breaks below a certain level if you can get the idea that this sits a little bit higher than the uh, the intake of the overflow box there when the water drops down you're gonna pick up you're gonna you're gonna break your siphon because you're gonna get airflow through these chambers and it's gonna it's gonna prevent the water from siphoning all back down into your sump area but we have such a large sump that even if it didn't break the siphon right away it we would probably be able to hold a good bit of water you know even until it come down a little bit but anyway this way it prevents too much backflow when you shut off your pumps or if there's a power failure and we're going to try to set it up to where we can shut these pumps off when we do our feeding but just by flipping a switch we'll get to that later on okay so next project when we come back we will have the the pumps into the sump we will have the heaters in the sump and we'll start actually filling up the sump and the next thing i'm going to show you how to do is to mix salt water if you don't already know because we're doing this from start to stop with the assumption that you have never set up a, a water a salt water tank before we're going to show you how to do it from the start to stop middle to end and you'll know exactly how to do it all right stay tuned <laughs> 